Hello there guys, my name is Coach Shadogs to Board, but built for Theme Park News and welcome to today's Theme Park Newsroom update. Now today, we're going to be talking about Phantageland, but before we do, I want to put something to you guys. Do you want me to do loads of polls on the community posts and react to them in videos and do reaction videos to your poll answers? Comment down below if you want that, because I'm kind of interested to do that. Uh, there will be other very exciting videos to come. Um, I'm still thinking of rating specific coasters from theme parks in the style of Dancing on Ice scores uh, and the kind of scoring range they do for that since that show's coming back in 2021 so uh, I thought I might do that video maybe. Uh, there will be hopefully some other videos as well, some next five year videos with no Six Flags announcement and obviously Cedar Fair are doing their stuff for 2020 again in 2021 uh, so those kind of next five year videos will all be pre-recorded over the weekend and uh, delivered to you guys uh, for the world to see. Uh, so they'll be coming hopefully as well. And um, yeah, this is definitely going to be an exciting time on the channel, especially with everything coming up. So uh, before we get started, make sure you like, comment, subscribe, click the notification bell so you never miss a YouTube video. Share the channel with all your friends, family, social media. We're getting closer and closer. Even when I haven't uploaded on uh, about a day or so, you know, this channel gets loads and loads of subscribers. So please keep subbing. Uh, I'd really mean the world for that. And uh, let's get into this video. So this is from Phantasialand and something interesting has been picked up on the park map. Now, Hollywood Tour is the park's dart ride. So for those of you who need a little bit of a reminder as to what this dart ride entitles, here are some stats as well as what seems to be going on with Hollywood Tour. So Hollywood Tour is an Intamin dart ride that opened at the park in 1990. It's a water theme ride under the fantasy area of Phantasialand. Uh, it opened back in 1990 and shows passengers scenes from famous film classics, uh, quoted from Alfred Hitchcock's figure in the entrance area. So it was built by Intamin with the driving system and boats, and the interior fittings and figures supplied by Hoffman. The Hollywood tour shares the building with the Crazy Bats coaster, of course that was the old Temple of the Nighthawk indoor roller coaster, and uh, that's located in the upper part and the neighbouring Fantisma area, the fantasy area. Uh, now, at the time of its opening, the Hollywood Tour was featured and heavily promoted as one of the park's main attractions. And for the dark ride, together with the Petit Paris area that was open at the same time, 15 million was invested. Uh, the opening was celebrated with 600 invited guests, including many celebrities such as Marlene Sherelle, Desier Nosbusch, and Max Schurzer, so a lot of German celebrities. Uh, boats for a maximum of 20 people are used with the driving system, and the boats are moved by Warren water currents in a channel at about 0.6 meters per second uh, over the 340 meter long route. A total of 30 pumps circulate the approximately 2,000 cubic meters of water. In the scenes, the passing of the boats triggers various events, for example, the appearance of the sharks in the Jaws scene or the overturning of the pillars in the Samson slash Sinbad scene. And the transitions between various film scenes, friction wheels attached underwater, were also used to ensure that only one boat drives through one scene at a time. In addition, the boats can be stopped at the points for evacuation and emergency. A total of 15 boats are used, which means the trip has a theoretical capacity of a maximum of 2,400 people per hour. The station is higher than the rest of the route, and at the end of the 8 minute journey, the boats are transported back to the level of the station on a conveyor belt. Now you're probably thinking, why am I talking a lot about Hollywood Tour? Well, not worth, um, yeah, I, I think th th this is definitely worth it. I was thinking maybe not, but this is definitely worth speaking about because this could lead to some potential speculation about Fantageland's next major project. Now, there is belief that there won't be the start of anything major, uh, but following an incident with water damage in the building housing Hollywood Tour and Fantisima, uh, with Crazy Bats being above both uh, attractions having been unaffected, has led to Hollywood Tour being closed for most of the 2020 season. And the dinner show was to be delayed starting up November while repair work is ongoing. Now, unexpectedly today, Hollywood Tour has disappeared from the online park map and in park app. Having the challenging financial effects of the coronavirus led to them deciding now to keep it SPNO for the rest of 2020 as a cost cutting measure, or has last minute now plans now been given the chance for the park to close the part at uh, the attraction earlier than planned uh, for its retirement, given the next project is extremely likely to be based off evidence plus rumours to be Geister Rickshaw's replacement, or is it just a mistake on the website? That's the 
that's the big debate and um, you know it's it's definitely an interesting one isn't it it's definitely a, um, a an interesting debate to sort of discuss because if you look at the uh, the building for this attraction and the crazy bats and uh, the phantasma and the phantasma area it's a very big building I'm not gonna lie it's a very big building so you could do a whole lot of stuff with that building and um, it should be an interesting one to see exactly where the park's going to go with this because if this isn't a mistake on the website and this is true I wonder whether this could actually instead of Geyser Richter maybe the Hollywood Tour area could be the um, the area for redevelopment maybe this could be um, the the site for potential development because you've got to think Geyser Richter is the rumoured area for development now if we go over to the Hollywood tour site which I'm going to put on your screen right now fan dabby dozy uh, you will see I mean I'm looking on Google Earth right now for it um, and I'm going past fly it is a massive 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 uh, attraction I uh, <laughs> got distracted there um, but no, I'm looking on Google Earth for this, and you know Hollywood closed, temp Hollywood tour temporary closed according to Google Maps. Uh, so this falls in line with the stuff on um, the um, the map online and on the app. Um, but the building itself is absolutely massive, and I think if you were going to do a big development on this site, I think you were probably going to have to take out the crazy bats the Fantasma and the Hollywood tour so you'd be losing a coaster but I think with the next development probably being another coaster in my opinion I think what we're looking at here is another potential site very early on so I think the Hollywood tour closing could be the first of things to come and then maybe just maybe Crazy Bats and Fantasma could be the next to go. So there we go. Now this opens up a lot of discussion about the future of Fantasyland's major projects because of course coronavirus is going to definitely affect that. Obviously it, it did affect Fly and, and the Rookborough area and the Hotel Charles Limber quite a bit. I've seen opening day footage of that. Oh my giddy auntie it looks beautiful. I really want to get out there to Germany sometime and ride it because it looks brilliant. Um, but looking then at future projects. I mean, obviously, Geyser Richter, all the way across uh, from the Hollywood tour, is way across to the other end of the park uh, in the China area. Um, you've got to look at that and think, well, there's rumours that Geyser Richter's on its way out. That is the next development. Could be a massive new dart ride. In terms of a next coaster project, I reckon we could be seeing that building being demolished and that whole site being transformed into a brand new roller coaster. Now, if you're probably sitting there thinking, well, what coaster would you add? What would you add? Um, it's a tough one, that one. One thing I've said Fantasia, Fantasialand really does need is a wooden coaster. I reckon a wooden coaster with eccentric theming. You look at what Alton Towers have done with Wicker Man, and you look at how that's just been... They didn't need to expand into the woodland area where the flume was. They just literally... All, all Wicker Man is sitting is where the station, the queue line, and the final drop and a couple of turns in the station area and everything. That's all that replaced that was replaced with Wicker Man. You know, it wasn't the whole flume because the rest of it was in the woodland in the back. There was at least a lift hill. And, uh, well, there was part of the first lift hill in that, that site as well. But... You know, the rest of it, the drop after the first lift hill, the second lift hill and drop, the indoor section, that was all in the woodland. That was all in the back. The rest of it was in the front. So that is a very compact site to work with and did an incredible job with that. The Hollywood Tour, Crazy Bats and Fantasma site is so much bigger than the Flume site. I reckon you could do a very, very nice wooden coaster here. Now, whether it's a general GCI or whether it's a shuttle coaster and make it like an indoor sort of backwards roll element or it could be a wooden SFX coaster where they do things like track drops, backward elements uh, and work it round, then you've got a nice site to play with there. Um, they could go along the Dynamic Attractions SFX coaster route, or they could go with a different manufacturer and go for a SFX coaster route, like a Family Thrill 
um, sort of uh, special effects coaster uh, with the track drop, the side drop, the uh, the backwards element, the launch, kind of like Hagrid's but more compact uh, elements of adventure. Um, so that would be a very nice fit, and of course they've already worked with Intamin on Terran, so you know there's already that working relation with Intamin and Fantasia Land. So I think that. Um, there's a real opportunity here that this could be the site for the next future coast development, but I think that guys of Richter will be first to go. I think that will be the next major development site, and then maybe Hollywood Tours area is next. I think for now it will, ju it will just be ripping out the rest of Hollywood Tour from the park, uh, keeping the buildings used for um, the, the, the dinner show in November and onwards, uh, for Crazy Bats on the upper floor, and um, this Fantisma. So I think that uh, the rest of the building will be in use for now. Hollywood Tour is going to get ripped out. The rest of the building is going to get used, you know, as it is. And then after the replacement for Guys of Richter opens a few years down the line, around the 2026, 2027, I reckon the first major project of the 2030s decade will be replacing the whole building. Not just Hollywood Tour, but Fantisma and the Crazy Bats, Temple of the Nighthawk VR roller coaster, indoor roller coaster. I think they're going to use the whole building, especially if you're creating an SFX coaster or an indoor launch coaster. You've pretty much got that entire building to play with, and that's a very good bit of creative potential for Fantasyland. To create a great story, great queue line, great theming, and uh, to give the coaster a big, big upgrade. To give that building a whole upgrade to this massive new roller coaster. So, this is definitely going to be one to watch. If it is just a mistake on the website, then fair play. Hollywood Tour, back for next year, probably in 2021. Going to look at both sides of it. Uh, but if it isn't a mistake, then, if it isn't if it isn't a mistake, then we're saying goodbye to Hollywood Tour. And to be fair, I was kind of looking forward to riding that one. I think that would have been a good classic dart ride to ride. So, uh, very sad that that's been gone. Uh, well, it could be gone. Uh, but this could be the end of Hollywood Tour. So uh, thank you very much guys for watching this news update from Fantasyland. Uh, make sure you stay tuned for more in the upcoming days. And for now guys, my name is Coast Chal. Keep living the coast of life. And I'll see you guys in the next video very, very soon. Take care guys. Have a thrill-tastic day.